Right, we're back with fresh memory chip. We're looking at all English verbs that are synonyms of laughing. We just solved all teeter-totters, and we're finding the number five, okay, which is the number of joy. So this is exciting, and we are just continuing on with this study. All right, fair deal. So, ooh, that's a good word, bursting. Um, Laughter is a smile that bursts, someone has said. And so we say bursting with laughing. This is so good. Um, the word bursting, the word burst has triple fives. Um, it's so beautiful. BR20, US40, T20, to burst. Okay. Burst out laughing. So, burst equals 80, and then um, we want to go to the center. Um, well, bursting, yeah, obviously will equal 110. It obviously then ends in joy, the ting. Okay, fine, we'll leave it at that. Um, but what we are... Okay, that's good. Let's keep going. Um, checking other synonyms for laughing. Okay, hooting. That's an easy one. Hooting, obvious fives at the center, the T. Roaring. Hmm, we'll find out. Howling. Now, howl, just like the word bowl, ends in joy. So, we can't miss the obvious. Um... But I do want to be as close as I can possibly make this. Roaring. Roaring with laughter. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, cracking up. So cracking up has fives at the dead center. I could do this programmatically, um, but uh, beautiful. Cracking up has a lot of cool fives. The KI is 10, and you take the ACNG, and that's beautiful because it's 10 plus 15, another 25. I, again, and then the RUP get married to make 55. So just like the word howling, I see a ton of these words where the first letter is like a segue into the pure fives. Um, so yeah, then RUP adds another 55, cracking up five. Um, dissolve. Dissolve is pure fives. Wow. Into laughter is triple joy. So the famous phrase dissolve into laughter is just mind-blowing fives. That's really high. Dissolve into laughter is 255. That's good. Dissolve. Wow. Say, I am dissolving. Now, this is technical. Like, you actually have to say these explicit words to, like, trigger, like, the release of joy, because these are words that are, like, maximum fives. Dissolve and dissolving are pure fives. It's got the famous LSS, which equals 50. Then you get the 15. You get the, the, the famous VID, the root of diving in video, the joy in video, the joy of diving. Um, 35. Oh my gosh. The root dissolve is 50-50, double joy. Say, I am dissolving with joy. I am dissolving with laughter. Now that is ecstasy. That is joy. That is the kind of help we need down here. We need funny people <laughs> that know how to dis dissolve people with laughter. So I'm in love with the word dissolve because it's easily, famously, 50 plus 50. There's so many cool things you can preach. The word void is in there. Remember when you get a new job and you have to submit a void check so you get deposits to your bank, you get paid? It's a joy to write void on that check. It's so cool. Void equals parallels vine. You can now connect it to the vine. 
Jesus is the vine to get paid, but void equals joy, okay? It's a, it's a joy to submit that void check because you know you're getting paid. But dissolving, so does, this is embarrassing. Into laughter is triple joy. The root of dissolve was double joy. And then dissolve into laughter adds another five. That's huge. Like this is technically awesome. So say I am dissolving. Um, now you have to, uh, yeah, dissolve into laughter. Interesting. Well, I wouldn't have, there, straight off of Google. Now, other words like side splitting. So yeah, um, and then the famous phrase, laughing out loud. You can solve all of these synonyms. Find the fives. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> it just occurred to me. You know how people, this is so cool. God is sovereign over LOL. You know the most famous texted message is LOL? Well, how does that glorify God? Because the O at the dead center is triple five. Joy, just like G-O-D, God. People say L-O-L. That is to say joy. There it is, L-O-L. The O is at the dead center of the number of joy. Re revelation given. Um, now, if you go to the center of the string, the explicit string laughing out loud, um, uh, you have to be dead center. You got lots of fives in there. Um, doesn't become multiple of five until you... Anyways, pay attention to what's quoted most by people, LOL. Um, uh, so there's lots of other terms here, like side splitting. It's just fun to check these for the first time. There's a lot of fives in all of this. Um, okay. I definitely hit some of the biggest ones. Um, laughing is huge. So laughing is pure fives. And now you know why it's spelled with a GH, because God is sovereign over the math. It's spelled G-H, so that laughing has 15 at the dead center. It's not spelled F-F. Laughing is not spelled with an F or F-F at the center. It's spelled with G-H, because G-H is 15. The number 5, because 5 is the number of joy in the sovereignty of God. Laughing, G-H. 15 gets flanked by U-I-30, gets flanked by A-N-15. That's why it's spelled with a G-H. Even though a G and an H, you say, why do we say F? Because God is sovereign. Laughing, laughing, laughing is pure fives. And that's why we're so, laughing is like the very expression of human joy. Like, no other animals laugh like we do. I mean, we are made in the image of God. And that's why we live forever. So laughing, so, anyone else? Oh, crack You can get deeper here, like solve rolling on the floor, double up killing myself. But we hit We hit the biggest ones. Chortling, guffawing, cackling, giggling, tittering. We solved every teeter totter. Twittering, sniggering, snickering. Yucking, you know, like yuck yuck. Um Yucking, if it's spelled with a C, okay, divides by 5, brilliantly, it equals 90. The, the nice thing about yuck is it starts with the great Y, okay, which is 5 times 5. So, um, that's pretty irresistible. Uh, wait for it. I'm just going to do a little more work on yuck yucks. Let's see what we can pull off here. I mean, the most obvious thing about yuck, yuck, yuck is the Y, which is 5 times 5. Okay. Kind of like T, he, he. You know, you get all those letters that divide by 5, the T's and the E's. T, he, he. Now, if you're really cool, you'll say T, he, he's. 
And now the S um, and the double H get married to make the final multiple of 5. We saw this exact same ordinance in the word teeter-totters. Okay. So tee-hee-hees is just like teeter-totters, where there's three letters that don't divide by 5 that knit together to make a multiple of 5, and everything else is perfect 5. So uh, teeter-totters, the joy of teeter-totters was 190, tee-hee-hees is 85. But it's, it's irresistible because practically every letter divides by 5, and E is 5. So tee-hee-hee, tee-hee-hee, tee-hee. Like it's, it's literally, ask anyone in my family, it's one of my favorite expressions, my sister Helena, her name is Pure Fives. By the way, if you know anyone, I'm not joking. People have explicitly spelled names for the glory of God and for definite significance. Like the name Helena, worldwide, is Pure Fives. It's got the two A's, the H-L, is Helena, syllable for syllable is Fives. 25, five, 15. What's the message? Any Helena that you meet, mark my words, will have a special dose of joy in them. Mark my words. Once they get saved, if they're not saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, once they get saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, you will see that Helena being such a joy everywhere she goes. You, like, Helena, it's got the two E's. H-L equals 20. N-A equals 15. Every syllable divides by five. Hell a na Helena adds to 45, triple 15. Helena. And I have a sister, Helena. And she is a total joy everywhere she goes. That's like what she brings. She's just happy. Like she's very light and like social and just joy. It's just the levity of life. People. Ah, oh, get saved, get set free. People laughing their heads off. This is good. This is good revelation. Good preaching. Okay. So tee hee. One of my favorite words that is simple is aha. Okay, aha is 10 points. That's pure joy. So uh, laugh, laughing, tee heeing. So chuckling. Um, now I, I looked at the word grinning begins with the great GR 25 and ends with ing, of course. Um, it's not as loaded as the word laughing, in my opinion. Smiling is glaring, chuckling, chortling, guffawing, cackling, giggling. Giggling is super fun. The word giggling is um, very fun. Yeah. Giggling is a G followed by 65. You gotta pay attention to. Okay. Yeah, it's the it's the G G L I, the thirty five in there. Giggling, tittering, twittering. Oh, I never did the math on twittering. Let's get that one on the table. So twittering. Um. Well, now we might as well add tweeting. Um, we've solved Twitter before. Um, tweeting has obvious fives at the dead center. The joy of tweeting. Oh yeah, the joy of texting. You know, on the phone. Glaring. So texting has the T at the dead center. Pure fives. Um, that's obvious. The joy of... Um, I'm thinking of phoning and all that. It's going to be an interesting one. First time studying all these words. Yeah, phoning has 60 at the dead center. Um, plenty of fives there. The joy of phoning. The joy of uh, tweeting, that's easy. The joy of twittering, oh, that's that's loaded. So twittering, just like tweeting, has um, TE, the great 25 at the dead center. The joy of, and this is an official word in the dictionary for laughter. Oh, say he's twittering with laughs. He's twittering with joy, as he should be. Now, the word singing, of course, has fives at the dead center, basically the ing, precisely, which is 30. Um, and uh, singing is a fun one because it's ing, ing, which is 30, 30. Singing is obviously the joy of singing. Um, man, I was getting other words. Oh, yeah, humming, whistling. 
uh, these are words that I got while waiting on the Lord in prayer wrote down. The joy of humming. Humming is mind-blowing. Humming, the, when someone is happy, now I've said this to people, when I'm whistling, it's like I'm naturally happy. When someone is humming, it's a sign of happiness. Humming, look at the word humming, and then you have a humming bird. And then if you say humming birds, the word birds ends in joy, and it's just loaded. But humming, my Lord and my God, humming is purifies from the inside out, just like the word pumpkin. Humming is 35, 35, 15 meaning it has joy at the dead center. Wow. So if someone is humming, they're humming a tune. They're in paradise. They are what you call joyful. Whistle while you work, we say. So the center of the word humming is, oh no, sorry, is 70. Um, it's higher than 50. It's double 35. It's just like the famous stop sign. Do you know why? There's red stop signs everywhere in this universe, everywhere you go. It's because the word stop is 3535 from the inside out. 3535, sevenfold set of fives. Five is the number of joy. Every time you see a stop sign, it's a reminder from God to rejoice because you are commanded, literally commanded by God, to rejoice always. It is the command of God. And you can rejoice always because of your faith in God, your confidence. The word faith has pure fives at the dead center, just like believing. Because of your confidence in the love of God. Okay, that's why, but that's why there are stop signs everywhere. Because the word stop is 3535. It's pure joy. It's a reminder to, for you to rejoice. And I've been getting this word everywhere I go because obviously as I go through traffic on my rollerblades, I hope to hit every green light. Green light divides by five, it equals 105, and at the dead center is the word line, which divides by five. Joy, the joy of a green light. Okay, everyone knows they like green lights. And of course, the joy of light green as a color. So this is so cool, the joy of humming. Humming is... Humming is embarrassed. Humming is pur purifies from the inside out. And then hummingbirds will double your joy and take you through the roof. The joy of whistling. Um, so whistling has the T at dead center. Um, that's pure fives. Um, okay. The joy of tweeting. Yeah, that's, that's just stacked up nicely. Um, pay attention to E's and T's. So tittering, twittering, sniggering and equals snickering, teeing. Um, we solve that. We're looking for fives at the dead center. Um, bursting with laughter. Bursting is a big word, bursting. Because laughter is a smile that bursts. Um, <laughs> I was getting work like screaming is a smoking hot set of letters. Oh, shrieking. That was the one that I got while waiting on the Lord. Shrieking with laughter. Um, so at the dead center, this is going to blow your mind. At the dead center of shrieking is E, which is 5, flanked in IK, okay, to now bump it up to 25. And overall, shrieking equals the great 100, which equals lightning, which equals double joy. You say that person is so happy they are shrieking with joy. Like, you know how um, when a woman gets proposed to by surprise, by her man, she will probably be shrieking with joy. So shrieking, you can feel it on your lips. The E is at the dead center, which equals five. Flanked in IK, 25 at the dead center of shrieking. By the way, the dead center of will you marry me is 50, which is joy. And joy is also in the bookends and the whole thing divides by five. That was a revelation from the Lord. Um, that came to me while, I kid you not, while lying behind massage chair number five, taking a nap at the fit for less. So fit for less adds to 150. By good life, underneath it adds to another 100 points. The company Good Life Fitness divides by five and 50s. And But I was behind massage chair number five, massaging divides by five. Um, 
and behind there was exact God ordained there to be exactly two quarters, okay, 50 cents, and then I did the math on quarter and 25 cents, I realized that 25 cents and quarter both divide by five, 25 cents added perfectly to 210, that triggered my recollection that will you marry me equals 210, then I searched for joy and will you marry me, and I found it 50 at the center of will you marry me for the first time. That's how the word of the Lord came to me. That's how God ordained it to happen. Okay, I was actually, I was at the Fit for Less gym. We solved Fit for Less a million times, okay? Fit, F-O-U-R, less equals triple joy, 150, by good life divides by one, by good life is 100, good life fitness divides by five. So I was at Fit for Less, the Lord gave me the word, I knew I was gonna have a nap, okay? The word nook came to my mind, which divides by five. I took the sleeping mat behind massage chair number five, as I lay down, I noticed, I looked over, there were exactly two quarters underneath the chair. I know that's from the Lord because he's revealing to me the number five. I pick up the 50 cents, take it as a gift from the Lord, as what he's doing in my life. Do the math on the word quarter, it divides by five. Do the math on the sentence 25 cents, it divides by five. In fact, it adds perfectly to 210, which equals, will you marry me? And then I search for joy and will you marry me? And it's at the dead center in the bookend. It's done. That's literally how God ordains words to come to you. Using numbers everywhere and currency and coins that he's placed for you to find in your day that if you are in tune with the Holy Ghost, you know exactly why they're there. You know exactly why God ordained them to be there. You do the math on them, you get the revelation, and you solve everything in the universe. Done. The joy of God in everything. So we solve colors like silver and shiny, all divides by five. And coins divides by five. And, okay. So I, I just had to tell you that story, okay, of how and when and where and why. Uh, Joy was first found at the center of the famous letters, Will You Marry Me? Because there are few strings that are that dramatic in a person's life that bring joy to both people. And then what does the girl say? Yes. And then yes has E at the dead center, which equals five. Done. Mystery of God revealed. Five is the number of joy. Okay, she'll say yes. And then Y is five times five. And okay. So, and then she'll be shrieking. Shrieking equals double joy. and has five at the dead center, and it's just embarrassing. SHR is 45, ING is just embarrassing. Um, she will also, you know, and you can go nuts on all this other verbiage. It'll make you cry, pretty much. So, screaming. Ooh. Um, uh, yeah, so there's lots of fives in screaming. It's not as flawless as shrieking. Okay. Shrieking for joy, we say. And then we were solving things like, we were solving everything, dancing, flying, floating, uh, all this verbiage um, for joy, okay? Floating is mind-blowing, like when people are swimming. Um, yeah, floating has 45 at the dead center. Oh yeah, swimming, my lord and my god. It's the famous MMI. Um, MMI is a famous trio that makes a multiple of five. We saw that earlier for joy with Wait for it, the word humming. Humming and swimming, okay? So there's your fives, the great MMI. And um, there's more fives in swimming for certain. Um, everyone loves to swim. Yes, sir. I'm just taking a little poke around here. Yeah, the front of the word swimming is double joy and you can, and you can add words like swimming pool and all that. Oh yeah, so, ah, the mystery has now been solved. So swimming pool, perfect. I know the word pool equals father, but the front of the word swimming up until the G is double joy. Now the G on the end gets hooked up with the word pool to add another 55. So swimming pool, quote me on this, is 50 plus 50 plus 55. Is there joy in a swimming pool? Uh, yeah. Provided is it, it is chlorine free, in my strong opinion, it should be ozonated or salinated. Chlorine is not very healthy for you. But swimming pool, aha, for the first time solved, 165. Why don't we solve every hot tub? What, what The most obvious thing about hot tub is uh, the three letters that divide by five. And then the HB divides by five. So the obvious thing to do is pluralize, and now you complete the puzzle. Hot tubs, screaming fives. Hot tubs is 105. Hot tubs everywhere. Um, it's embarrassing, the fives in hot tubs. Embarrassing, just glaring. Just so many teams of fives in hot tubs, okay? Um, and that's just the beginning of the puzzle. So always go to the center of these words. So a hot tub, what's at the dead center? TT, purifies, okay? And then the rest, like other puzzle people, like knits together with other letters that come before and after, okay? So hot tubs and bam, purifies, okay? So we solved every swimming pool, every hot tub. Uh, it's been a good couple minutes. Um, let's keep going. Um, now, I don't want to put, I was, 
value. Okay, water slides divides by five, but let's be careful about uh, what we promote first and foremost. Okay, fundamentals, laughing. Everyone can laugh whether you have any technology or not. Um, um, floored, people say. I am floored with laughter. The word floored is tear jerking. The word floored is embarrassing five. Say, I'm so happy, I am floored. I'm floored with joy. Floored is 75. Beautiful. Um, I can't resist. Doubled up. Say, I am doubled up with joy. Uh, this, so doubled up equals double joy. Doubled up with joy. That'll all divided by five. Doubled up with joy, as you should be. Now, you know, it doesn't take me long to just... This is first, this is real-time revelation on all terms related to laughter and joy and finding the fives in it. So, I'm just going to parse doubled up into the teams of 50. Yeah, there's um, three ways you could split it. Oh yeah, I remember, because joy, this is so cool. This is so cool. I have to preach on this. Okay. So, the word double. Everyone knows they love something doubled. You know, double your currency, double your fun. Double your food, double your fun. You know, double whatever. You know, I'll take double. I'll take two scoops. Give me a double. And it's more fun. It's more joy. Okay. Double, double, double. Everyone always wants double. Everything in God created has two halves. Double, double, double. So, it's a huge word in the story of God. The word double, okay, double bubble. The word double has joy at the dead center, the great 50, okay? O-U-B-L, 15 plus 35, double. Now, when you say doubled up, as in doubled up with laughter, what does that mean? That means you are literally flexing your abs and like hinging in the middle because you are laughing so hard, okay? In fact, many people would say doubled up means that you are hinged in both joints. You're bent at the stomach and you're bent at the knees and you're on the floor. I believe that's the official definition of doubled up. Like you're in, in the literal like knees on the floor, stomach over the thighs, like you are literally doubled up with laughter. Now what is so perfect, I've already said it, um, is there was joy at the center of the word double and then doubled up adds another 50, another joy. So if I do an image search for doubled up with laughter, okay, yeah, I, I see, of course, I see people bending at the middle. Um, but I believe what that term refers to in terms of the doubled up is it refers to the fact that you're hinging at the waist and you're also hinging at the knees. Okay, so it's like a doubling up, doubled up with laughter. But I'm here to preach the perfection of the math of the joy of God in all of these words that describe everything that you can experience in life for joy. Because remember, you were created for God's joy. And so this is so exciting, this revelation, that doubled up equals double joy. I, 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 I love it. It also ends in Father, by the way, name above all names. Um, say, I am doubled up with laughter. That's my new favorite gem, doubled up. So joy at the center of double. Everyone knows that, the daily double. And then the rest of the letters, five letters no less, add another um, 50. Furthermore, those five letters are split into three teams of fives. 5, DU25, and DP20. Literally, the 25-25 that you can split joy into. Done. Now, if you're really good, people also say, oh, I am tickled pink. The word pink equals joy, double 25. Doubled up. Double your laughs, double your fun. Done. Doubled up. That, that is, I mean, there's only one thing better than a daily double, and that's being doubled up with laughter in the Holy Ghost. So, doubled up. Double your laughs, double your fun, double your health. I mean, laughter re releases all sorts of healthy chemicals inside your body. It releases all sorts of health-inducing, life-inducing chemicals inside your body. 
when you laugh good and long and hard. It is absolute paradise. So doubled up equals 50-50. Double your laughs, double your health. Double your joy. <laughs> Man, this is good verbiage. Um, and verbiage divides by five. It's one of my favorite words. Verbiage is loaded with fives. You got the two E's, the RB, the VAG. I mean, a, a stunning thing about the word verbiage, and I've been getting verbiage like this like crazy from the Lord, where the letters that do not divide by five add perfectly to joy. Tons of tons of words like this from the Lord, so many that I think I'm going to have to write the code and run the entire English dictionary through that concept because I've been getting so many words from the Lord where the letters that do not divide by five add perfectly to joy, like the word weather, God's joy in controlling the weather, and the word contents, as in the contents of a gift box or the contents of a book, the table of contents. And, and not just, but in symmetry, the letters are in contents and weather. And then... Um, Oh yeah, while I was at the buffet and I was meditating on how much I enjoyed running at the track last night, the word stride came to me. The joy of a stride. The word step, pace, and stride all divide by five, the joy of each one. But the word stride, again, the letters that don't divide by five add perfectly to joy. And then you get another half a joy. So that's the, that's the same thing in the word verbiage. God's joy in good verbiage. God's joy in good weather. God's joy in a single stride as you go down the street. And I'm singing my head off. Everywhere I go, I sing my head off because God is God. And he's in control of me. He lives inside of me and he's all around me and, and it's pure paradise. And so it will be for as many humans as receive this revelation. Okay, so verbiage. Smoking hot set of letters. Um, so that's a, that's a to-do note is find all English words wherein the letters that do not divide by five, add to joy. So, all words like weather, contents, okay. Little to-do note. The word to-do equals love and contains joy. Isn't that amazing? People say, oh, I'm making a to-do list. Well, what are the first two fruits of the Spirit? What does God actually want you to do? Have love and joy in him. He wants you to be in love with him and be overjoyed with your life. What's the to-do list? Well, do the math on to-do. First of all, it equals love. And then T-O-O -O equals joy, composed of three letters that divide by five. To-do, love, joy. And you can find peace. The two O's add to 30, which is peace. What, what, what is your job? What is your to-do list today? Okay, by the, word, by the way, the word list um, equals 60, equals holy, equals word, equals pray. But to do. To do literally contains love, joy, and peace. Glaringly. T-O-D-O. -O, love, joy, peace. That's what God wants all people to do. And that's what you naturally will do when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Love, joy, peace. Man, that's good preaching. To do. To do equals love, the first fruit of the Spirit. T-O-O -O equals joy, the second fruit of the Spirit. And then O-O -O equals peace, the third fruit of the Spirit. Done. I've just solved every to-do list and what to-do lists are actually supposed to contain. To do, today. Love, joy, peace. Success. Pleasure to God. Done. Meaning of life achieved. Bringing God pleasure. Done. All right. So... Man, that was good. Doubled up. The great Dublave, as it should be. Say, so I'm doubled up with laughter. Um, 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 it's checking verbiage like, oh my. See, now you get really high, which you should, because God is aware of all this. Rolling on the floor divides by five. It's 215. Tons of joy in rolling on the floor. And when people write that in a text message, of course, they say R-O-F-L. Rolling on the floor. But that stands for, of course, rolling on the floor. Okay, so that's lots of fives there. Um, all right.
So they say side splitting. Let's quickly check some of this verbiage. And... All right, uh, that's fine. There's lots to analyze, lots to discover. Oh yeah, I've always liked the phrase tear jerking. Holy Father. Okay. Well, lots to discover, isn't there? All right. Okay. This is uh, initial research on all this. Cool. Very good. Very good. Lots of fun. Okay. All right. More to come. Lots more.